film in front of. But sometimes it means what we call a practical set, where we can film on the inside and on the outside of the same structure. A great example is the Chicken Ranch, you can see here on the straight to the the past. They've seen it in a recent episode of the TV show The Mentalist. You can see it as it appears today, coming up on the hillside off to your right. They're currently doing some work on this house. In fact, they're building a facade wall, extending the back side of this house to look like the front side of a different house. This will be the new home of the Munsters for the remake of that TV show called Mockingbird Lane. A lot of artistry going in into this uh, this show. The original house for the Munsters is on this next street, which for the last eight well, years has been like Mysterio Lane from ABC's yeah. Desperate Housewives. Yikes. Cow manure. They have finished building the final episode of the show, and so they've already begun redecorating the house to look like an average, nondistrict residential neighborhood, like it was before it was Mysterio Lane who's been here for Desperate Housewives eight years ago. We're going to go down the street and come back the same way. I'll point out some of the houses as we go. There's one. There's another. <laughs> Off to the right, the house of the white picket fence. That was the home of the narrator of Desperate Housewives. It's also where the Cleaver family lived and Leave the Beaver. And where Smash Mouth filmed their music video All-Star when the house was painted red. Also on the right, the olive-colored house there, the greenish one. That's where Pete Diddy lived when he filmed his music video, Bad Boy for Life, right here on this street. Tom Hanks lived on this street in the movie The Birds, Christina Ricci in the movie Pastor, Fear Factor contestants competed on this street, all before it became Wisteria Lane, which you can still see Sunday nights at 9 o'clock on ABC, when the street looks like this. If there is one thing everyone in suburbia can appreciate, it's a good neighbor. You can also appreciate being able to see the houses covered in wisteria vines there on your screens and how they look now without them. Those plants were fake plants. The wisteria vines and the flowers were always in bloom. They replaced them every year because they were good the nondescript average real houses. Sometimes they need to be a little more fanciful, like the one for Mockingbird Lane there. Um, that was kind of the case with Dr. Seuss' house where he stole Christmas, uh, director Ron Howard. And, hey, Ron Howard, would you say building the houses of Whoville for that movie was an easy task or challenging? It's challenging. Because it was just a little challenging. We had 11 stages occupied at one time on the Universal lot. One of them was just for putting who's into their makeup every day. So I felt like it was one of those extravaganzas from the 30s or 40s. Sets that were inspired by Dr. Seuss, brought to life, made functional enough that, you know, shoot on them, actors can climb on them, people can do clips off them. It makes me so proud that it's become this kind of evergreen and that every Christmas rolls around and it means something to a lot of kids. Originally built to be temporary structures to last only as long as it took to film the movie, one of the main construction elements here is styrofoam. The who cars there really do drive because they're converted golf carts. But the real story here, cool. mm -hmm. well, the Hoos, they had another neighbor that when they were out here working on the back lot that they were even more afraid of than the bridge itself. They thought that this other neighbor was a real psycho. <laughs> No reason to work yourself into a frenzy, although I confess this looks like a bizarre family plot, considering he's got that woman wrapped in a torn curtain. I, I don't know why he didn't use rope. 
Still, um, somebody dial M for murder because this looks pretty notorious. <laughs> uh, my friend's Bonnie and Rebecca. Anybody else getting that? Anybody getting that? Anybody getting that? Anybody getting that? Anybody getting that? We're gonna go north by northwest up this hill to Fox Birds. Oh my god. I can't take this. somebody back there. I don't quite know what's going on with that. Hey. I might get this. Oh my god. 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 Okay, if we go up the hill, don't get vertical if you're looking back down at him. He's not going to climb those 39 steps. He's going to get out of hope with us. Wow. Now, thank you. Uh, now, he's, uh, he's still watching us, but we should be fine. We're actually going to go into his backyard. Because it's okay, I got it on video. I'll send it to everybody later. Right, go hang out in his backyard. It's not what I'd recommend. That's what we're doing now. That is an actual plane destroyed specifically for this incredible scene. That is an actual child plane line destroyed specifically for this incredible scene. And that is an actual suitcase destroyed specifically for this incredible scene. Can you talk about everything except what The airplane crash is a perfect example okay. of okay. a step that is all designed around the vision of Stephen Crowe. You first began to sit down and talk about the world. Well, I thought, what if the study for a plane goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. 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 Bobby, get in. Get in. But the man you heard talking earlier in the video production designer, Rick Carter, he got paid to make this mess, oh and they did make him clean it up. Kids, career options. <laughs> residential street thinking, wow, really, somebody should get all that garbage out of sight. Well, then you might be sick of it, so... Welcome now from that residential street to the Great Outdoors. Coming up off your right is the log cabin from that classic John Candy company, the Great Outdoors. It also gets blown up in the Mark Wahlberg movie Shooter, but only with special effects still here today. Some of this wilderness area will be a But beyond the log cabin in the distance out there is a concrete basin that has a little bit of water in it right now. And beyond that, a green wall. Now we can take that uh, concrete basin, fill it up entirely with water, then we have a nice lake or ocean with a green screen behind it that we can film in front of. We can use computers to replace that color green with any background that we need it to be, or we can go old school and paint the wall blue as it has appeared many times in the past. You can see here on your screens, painted blue and decorated with some fake rocks as well. They used that area for the movie Battleship. They also used it for a big summer movie last year, Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean Part 4 on Stranger Tides. Now for that movie, they brought out some big blocks of styrofoam, set them up along the edge of the concrete base and along the perimeter, carved out the styrofoam blocks and painted them to look like rocks. They filmed at night there the scenes when the pirates first encountered the mermaids. They also decorated that area with fake rocks for Jurassic Park 3 and National Treasure 2, The Book of Secrets. We're going to see some fake rocks ourselves because we're getting close to the mummies, too. And there are people, good people, people like Whoopi Goldberg, who have said that this area is haunted. But I don't think we have anything to worry about. I'm feeling brave. I know our driver, Gilbert, he's feeling brave. I'm pretty sure that the potential new guys in the fourth car, that they're feeling brave. <laughs> As we go on inside, the mummies do. Oh, this is sick. I know. <laughs> you can see the fake rocks there. The doors have been busted open. We should be fine as we go inside. Wait a minute, there are here and you'll hear the flesh meat bugs from the mummy. That could be an indication of the mummy. Inside the mummy, too. Um, we're going to get past the mummy. It's going to be fine. It's a little bit dark, but other than that, wait, what happened in the video? Mummy! <laughs> 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 <laughs>